Okay, this how-to video is going to give you a few options about how to find components and nets um, on a PCB inside um, Allegro or AllCAD PCB editor. So first things first, obviously if you've got your schematic open at the same time as your PCB, well, what you can do is you can select on a part inside the schematic and it would zoom and center to the part inside the PCB. Standard kind of cross probe, I can pick on a net and do the similar kind of thing and work my round and find the parts that I wanted. Um, so that's fine if you've obviously got your schematic. If you're looking for a specific part and you've got a, maybe just a reference designator name, what you can do is you can use the find tab, obviously it's driven by what find properties you have here, but I can use something like simple or symbol or pin. If I click on more here, I get a list of all the reference designators that I'm looking for. So if I'm looking for, you know, all the ICs, for example, use star, use the filter, find the IC that you want, use 32, hit apply. And that would obviously then zoom and center to that IC that I've just selected. Um, so that's another method. You can also use this, this more feature. So we can change the drop down here from symbol or pin to something like net. Maybe I'm looking for a net called A1. If I just know the name, click on more. And again, it would zoom and center to that net and highlight for me. There are other methods as well. Um, you can assign shortcut keys to help you do this type of thing. So if I did something like control U, sorry, control F to find a component, uh, find ref des. Uh, let's go and find R23, for example. I would then get zoom and center on R23 and control N to find a net name. Let's find a three and then with then zoom and center for those. Those are user defined shortcut keys. So if you actually want to do this on your system, if you go to the parallel systems web page and then the training tab, there's something called expert user guides. And if you scroll down, there's a list of kind of quite useful PDFs, how to customize menus and define keyboard shortcuts. So using kind of the these two commands here, alias, so if you copy and paste this text, and what you do is you put this into your PCB EMV. It does actually describe all this feature up here about how to define your PCB EMV folder. There's an EMV file in here and you can actually put these, these, these function keys in there.